Hey, today I'd like to review a feature that every personal CRM just has to have, um, but for some reason is working very poorly um, in most personal CRMs. Um, and I'd like to just compare a, a few of the, the main web uh, personal CRMs out there um, to show you um, how this feature differs. And the feature we're talking about today is sending emails. So obviously one super important thing you wanna do um, if you're trying to stay in touch and reconnect with people is, well, to reconnect. Um, and in our world, depending on how we communicate, but one big way uh, we communicate with people is email. So uh, what I wanted to show you today is how sending an email to someone you need to reconnect with works in different um, personal CRMs, including ours, um, just obviously because I want to share how we thought about this, um, because I think it's really important. So let's get started. We will start off with uh, Monica. So everyone knows Monica. It's one of it's. I think it's the oldest personal CRM out there, um, and they have done an okay job. Um, everything is very manual. Um, but so let's have a look at how reconnecting works in their app. So what you do is you set up manual reminders, which I did here, and I need to reconnect with Leo here. So what you have to do is actually click on the contact. And then you get on the contacts details page. And there you have to scroll down. And at some point in contact information, you find the email. And then what you have to do is actually clicking there, which doesn't open a new tab. It actually, it's the same tab. So you just lose your um, uh, tab in, 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 in Monica, which sucks. It takes 10 seconds to load because that's just the way mail tool works. Um, and then here you can send your email and actually uh, reach out to Leo which I think is a super bad way to do it because then you still actually have to go back to Monica and log the interaction because everything is manual, right? So then you have to click the back link and then log here and say, I had a conversation, how did you communicate? Email and I sent the email and add. And I have to say something, email sent. So this took a lot of time and effort, which I think is totally unnecessary. Let's have a look at UpHabit. So UpHabit has a web app now. Uh, I think it's definitely bad, uh, but they do have one. Um, and, and, and I'm sorry, the UpHabit team, I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just being honest there, uh, but keep it up. So how it works here, you set up reminders as well. Um, I did that for a, a fake contact that is actually me. And when you go in the today tab, uh, you can see who you need to reconnect it with. Here, I have, I have only, only, only one contact. And then on the right, uh, you have all the profile information, nothing that helps you actually reconnect. Um, and this button there. And if you click on this, this time it opens a new, um, a new tab, which is great. Uh, but you still have the same problem of, you know, it's loading and so on. Um, and once you've actually sent the email, uh, you still have to go here and say we connected and maybe add a note and that's it. And now, now this contact is gone. Finally, let's have a look at Dex. Um, Dex obviously is a much nicer UI and they have a similar system with reminders. So what you do is you set up reminders for people that you want to reconnect with. Um, and here I have a, an overdue reminder, reminder to actually reconnect with myself. There isn't a, a reconnect button. You can only either snooze the, the reminder or say it's done. Um, what you have to do is click on the contact. And once you're here, you have similar to up habit, you have this email, this contact button. You click on it. It starts loading the mail to thing again. You lose the page index. You have to wait for it to load and so on. Uh, let's go back. And when, once you've sent an email, you still have to log it manually, obviously index which I will do now, but you're getting my point. This is just super annoying and frustrating. And let's say you want to reconnect with 10 people. It just takes you an hour for just 10 emails. Um, so yeah, so then you have to go here and mark the reminder as done here. Perfect. Now I'd like to show you how we are thinking about this at NAP. So the only big page we have is just a page with all the people you are losing touch with, in touch with, or not in touch with. 
And then here you have straight away a big send email button because this is literally the core of what you want to do. You want to reconnect with people. Um, so either you know what you have to say and you just click the button or you want to just remember who this person is and then you can just click on their profile. Here you can see notes you've taken and so on. And then you have a big send an email button. You click there, no one redirects you. You are still in the app, it's beautiful. We use the last email you sent as a template. So if you're sending similar emails to a few people, uh, let's say, you know, you want to announce a good news. For example, in our case, we just made it to $100 in monthly recurring revenue. Um, then I might just send similar emails, just change names. Um, but there is no complex templating, anything like this. Um, you, yeah, we just take the last email that you sent as a template. And then you click here and the email is sent. That's it. So that's uh, a quick uh, overview of how different personal CRM apps um, think about email sending. Um, would love to have your thoughts. Um, also, if you'd like me to review uh, different features, uh, I'm happy to do so. Um, but yeah, my, my, my key takeaway is sending an email is super important and this should be a core part of your experience as a user. Um, and I'm really surprised that other apps are not focus focusing on this and just wanted to share uh, how we think about this and give a quick comparison. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a good day. Bye.